Hi everybody, this is Jim Bridges and Paul Harvey and we're here in downtown Docklands, Melbourne at the Australian Cartoon Museum and we're doing one of Paul's books, a special series of books we started to do, um, the Book sports Bites kids. and it's uh, Half Times. So this is sports, the Sports Kids production book, so these were the AFL Kids books uh, I did in 2005. Um, they were written by Michael Senry, who was the son of a Marsden teacher. Oh, um, the Marcelin teacher. Marcelin teacher. And um, Michael wrote them and I illustrated them and they were, they were a lot of fun. Who's that? That's uh, Eddie. Eddie who? <laughs> yeah, so Eddie, Eddie is no longer the president of Collingwood oh, as of this year, Eddie. but uh, he okay. was well and truly at the time, Eddie everywhere. And uh, Mick Maltas. Uh, Mick there. Yeah, Mick there. I, and this jumper, I actually uh, designed that jumper back, did I did, in, um, for Adidas. How long did they have it for? Um, a couple of years? Uh, yeah, but a couple of years. But it is, I think, supporters use it now. Yeah. And I remember when Barassi, uh, sorry, when John John Spooner designed a, a Collingwood um, design. Okay. And it only lasted about one year. They hated it. Yeah, well, that one went okay. I sort of based the I based the design on like a Harley Davidson sort of logo. And um, really, yeah, they loved it. So anyway, the oh. mark of the year was taken in that jumper one year. I think. Uh, okay. I think I drew it in this book. So Michael, this was Michael's nephew who was a mad uh, Collingwood supporter. So Harley drivers, uh, you know, motorcycle gangs wearing um, uh, Collingwood jumpers gives motorbike mo- blokes a bad name, I suppose. I think so. Yeah, okay. You don't want to associate with them. Um, yeah. I put lots of Collingwood things in there and, and lots of in-jokes to make myself laugh. That So Eddie... Uh, they called him Eddie everywhere because he was everywhere. So he's even on the. Um, he's on everywhere. The, he's everywhere. He's even on the front of the um, yeah. on the box of cereal. First thing in the morning is Eddie. It's a great Lou Richards. So that's uh, Bob Rose. What's and, so great about Lou? Richards? Oh, Lou was great. He was a dirty player. He was. He was a dirty player, but he was a great player. Yeah. That's that. That's Lou Richards. I don't reckon. It's Ruth Carringbush, Collingwood Football Club Rover. Ah, okay. Okay. So she's the the girl in it. So the um, who's this? Uh, that's my nephew Josh, and that's Ben. We, I would put lots of reference to Collingwood, in, in um, so I figured the dads would be sitting there with the kids, and um, so I would uh, take pains to make sure that you know Peter Dacos was there and um, Brownie, whose boys are now playing. Peter okay. McKenna, who was my grade six teacher. Okay. And there's another book on Eddie from Brody to Billionaire. <laughs> so had... Actually, Brody to Billy, Billionaire would have been funnier. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so he's on every page. Is he, is he a yeah. Joker, yes. Is he? Yes. See Eddie on every page. Yeah. Um, and this was to, this page. was a competition to win a uh, seat in the coach's box. Is the oh, Shaw okay. Boys? Okay. That'd be a dangerous place to sit, wouldn't it? Mm. There's, there's Bucks with all these trophies and yeah. medals. Good player. Like, look at a face on. Who is now coaching the Pines, obviously. Th- th- they should have a special um, award in character to named after Buck because of his head. Yeah, fantastic head. For... Got a fantastic head. Yeah. yeah. Well, these books were designed for kids to get them to read, and of course, all the boys started getting reading boys them. reading. Yep. yep. And then they'd read, 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 read their team over and over and over, and then they'd say, "Oh, well, I might as well read it. Yeah, the rest." Read of the them. other ones, yeah. Yeah. So and there's then... uh, Neil Baum, who, who's uh, back at the Tigers. Is he? But he was. Um, and who's that guy? That's Eddie everywhere. Yeah. Eddie everywhere. That's the coach box. Yep. That's the old coach box. Isn't yep. It? They yep. don't have yep. them anymore, do they? Paul Lecure and Scotty Burns. When do they get rid of them? Um. Oh well, they sit up in the. Funnily enough, they a lot of the coaches is, are coming back to sit on the ground because well, they, it gives them closer. immediacy and yeah, they don't yeah. need to... Um, yeah. They've got other coaches sitting up there yeah. they speak to and they've got microphones and yeah. telephones and all sorts of things. Yeah. So, um, and this is this story was about Malthouse trying to cope with, um, you know, the computers and all the new faculty things that coaches have to uh, yeah. worry about these days. Yeah. There's Eddie again. 
and um, and they need a kid to, to solve yeah, it. Yeah, so Robbie comes down and he works it out for them. Oh, that's Rocco, yeah. Yeah. And Didac. Yep. Yeah. Very good. And Eddie is the runner. And running water. What was there. that famous goal where he ran and ran and ran and kicked it um, in the sixties? Uh, Wiedemann. Yeah, where's he? Is he uh, yeah, he will be here somewhere. He actually just passed away. Did for he? Weed. Yeah, yeah. And there is. Uh, yeah, Eddie's there again, celebrating the uh, the win. And <laughs> I like having a bird every so often. And, and of course, um, they have to be playing Carlton. They have to be. And Eddie's also commentating the game. They have to be playing. Yeah, so all well, the great rivalry, Carlton yeah. and Collingwood. Yeah. And uh, there's the weed. So they, this was ah, um, yes. Bill Sarong. These were all the great players of the past. Ron Todd. Yeah. Yep. Sa- Sav. Harry Hooker, who uh, cleaned up Brassie in uh, I'm shocked. that grand final. Who, Brassie didn't touch it. Thorough Merritt. 58. He, was, he, he was, stopped them winning four in a row. He was a good player. Thorough Merritt was great. Yeah. yeah. With that, and uh, there's Jock McHale. He's the coach. Yep. He's famous even overseas. And that was Christy uh, Maltas who was working in the media at the time. Um, and she was the daughter of uh, Mick, who was yeah. the coach. And uh, thanks, Robbie. Did, did, hang on. Did, uh-huh. did he soften when he was on with her? Did he? Because he, he's this. When he was on. Yeah, when they were uh, being, all together. When, being, all together. when she was interviewing him. Yeah, which did is he, a better way did to put he ever it. soften? Um, yeah, look, he, he did. Yes, he, he would go easy on it. Because he was a hard man. He, I know he, he was. That's he, what I'm saying. So. He, um, he ripped new one for uh, Matthew Richardson a few yeah. times, and yeah. um, and I, I like the way you have the bird here. You know? He's doing a, a lot in the media now, and he I writes know, a lot. Yeah. He's pretty good on the ABC. Uh, yeah. Terrific! Yeah. So we finished every book with the song, um, and the kids got to learn What's the words. Call blind me. Yeah, well, obviously it was written a long time ago. And, <laughs> You know, Cakewalk and Call Blimey yeah. were, were um, big words at the time. I mean, Collingwood have been around for over 100 years. And it's a great victory bird. Yes, so yeah. the bird would be celebrating. So yeah. that was the uh, Collingwood. Now, I would go as far to say is that was probably borrowed more than any other footy kid book. Well, I mean, here at the Cartoon Museum... I don't um, know the facts behind that, but yeah. I am saying it. Well, here at the Cartoon Museum, yes. we, we have nearly five million cartoons and all the football cartoons I have, three quarters of them are all about Collingwood. That's right. They sell and papers. They sell papers, that's right. If they Even our grand, papers are colour and not just black and white. If they win a grand final, the first five, six, seven, ten pages for the next week and a half are just full of pictures about Collingwood. I do remember in 2002 when Brisbane won the Premiership and uh, the Herald Sun had Collingwood on the front cover. That's right. And uh, <laughs> it's a true story. They that's, had Malthouse yes. and Lecuria crying. And um, I remember speaking to... Um, um, well, you would know because you you do posters. Fiona Hamilton, who's a friend of mine, who is the daughter of the great Jack Hamilton, and she was working at the Herald Sun, and she said, can you believe the age had a photo of Brisbane on the front? <laughs> <laughs> we sold ten times as many papers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Um, well, this is Jim Bridges. And Paul Harvey. Saying we'll see you around like a record. Cool. Bye-bye. Bye.